Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to learn about how to import CSV and insert the data into the database using MySQL. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So this is the project which I have created. So this is the full fledged project. So we have a controllers, we have a models. So let me give the overview of that one controller models, node modules, routes, storage, where the files gonna be storage and the uploader where we have the upload files. Okay. Then index.js. So going with the step by step, how to do that. Okay. So let's first of all, whenever you have to create a project, so go make a new directory mkdir whatever directory name that's to be a import csv okay then you have to init the packet.json file right so you have for that to create a packet.json file in that folder cd the folder name import csv then make a file how to create that packet.json file so you have to write init npm space init hyphen y okay so you have to write like this npm init hyphen y will create this file okay packet.json now you have to create the new file that is called the index.json that is the entry point of the every package okay so i have created that index.package where we are required the http express path okay parson morgan you have to install all of these packages right then i am adding the router part over here index router Okay, so whenever we have a route, any of the routing, so I am using app.use index router, right? And I have defining the app express. Okay, so this is important. After that, you have to make a connection of that one. So where I have made the connection, this one. So I have made the connection on the 4000 port, right? This is the error handling part. Okay, then module.exports app. Okay, so I have ex uh, export this one. After this index.js, uh, we have the routes, then we have a controllers and we have a models. How they are going to be interlinked because we have just defined the routes. Okay. So this is the routes where I have mentioned one route that is called import. Okay. And the rest of the files, you can see that the controller, right? This is the routing part, which is exist in the routes index.js. Got it. Next, we have an index controller where we have add the logic of import function. Before that, we have to check out the models. Okay, so here we have the models. We have a connections. We are we, here. We have SQLized connection. This is the database. This is my username. This is my password. This is the host. This is a dialect that should be MySQL2 or MySQL. Okay, so I have mentioned the MySQL, MySQL, right? MySQL2 is like the npm missing package, I guess. So you have because whenever I uh, use the SQLize, it uh, throwing an error. So you need to install the same process with the uh, npm i mysql mysql two, so that the error gone, right? So you have to make sure of that one. Okay. Then we have a user models. You can see that we have a name, we have an email, we have an address, we have an age. Okay. And this is a connection SQLize connection, and these are the data types that requires. Okay. So this is the model that we have created, right? then these two things are clear now then we have a controllers where we have write all the logic of the import for the import i am using xlex to reading the csv file and users dot bulk create whatever the ar array of the object we have we are just sending it to the this function bulk create that that accepts the array and insert that into the db so this is that process so xls read file whatever the file name Okay, if you have the sheet names, then you can use that one if a multiple sheet, but I think if it's a one file, then use that one and the workbook by default zero index sheet I'm taking up, then mapping all the data and storing into the users and then add it successfully part, right? Response dot send anything. So this is the most important import function, import part, right? And the rest of the part, if you want to, if you want this one, then you can, if you want to find all of the users, you can hit that API, okay? Okay, so this these things we have added, right? So, so let's take a look that uh, how we are going to run from the postman. So we have this one, okay? Localhost 4000 import because import is my route. 
if I go and check my routing part, so here we have the import section and it takes a parameter of file. So here you can see that I exports the parameter of the file. Before that, you have to create all the fields in the database also okay so id name email address age created at updated at by default and making it as a timestamp right so after doing that just click on the file and customer.csv file which contains of the id name email address uh, age all of the fields right and then send it's 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 not responding because i'm not uh, enable it now not starting it yet Okay, so node index.js to start the node application. So Express is online. Now I'm going to hit that API. Now you can see that there is no data right now. If I go and send it, add it successfully. That means my whole file of this one, where we have index controller, the response is this one. That means the whole block of function code executed. So let's see. You can see that the API post is hit. Okay, the post main, right? And you can see that all the data which I have added, it's loaded successfully. Okay, so this is how I'm able to import the CSV file into the database with the help of the SQL in Node.js. Any doubt, any query in that, let me know in the comment section. I will help you on that. Thank you so much for watching this video and keep supporting us. Thank you. Have a great day.